Hi everyone, this is a quiz style video of muscle functional grouping of the axial skeleton. So follow along with my questions, write down your answers, make sure to pause the video if you need to, and then I will go over the answers at the end. Alright, let's get started. Here we have one, two, and three. Not um, all the muscles I have tagged are the ones highlighted, so make sure you're careful with the arrows too. So one is pointing to this muscle with the arrow, two is the blue highlighted muscle, and then three over here is this muscle. It is not highlighted. Four, what is their common action of those three muscles? And five is asking um, what is their common nerve? Next we have six, seven, and eight. These um, are all the blue highlighted muscles. So here we have six in blue, seven, and eight. Nine, what is their common action when contracted unilaterally? And 10, what is their common nerve? Next we have 11, 12, and 13. 11 is the blue highlighted muscle. 12 is a part of the blue, but specifically the purple arrow. And 13 is the blue highlighted muscle. 14, what is their common action when contracted unilaterally? And be specific with your answer. 15, what nerve innervates muscle 11? Sixteen, seventeen, and 18. 16 is highlighted in blue. 17 is highlighted in blue, but pay attention specifically to the blue arrow. What muscle is the blue arrow pointing to? 18 is highlighted in blue. 19, what is their common action when contracted bilaterally? 20, what is their common nerve? Last few questions, we have 21, 22, and 23. Not all of them are the blue, so don't pay attention to this muscle. We have 21 here, 22, and 23. 24, what is their common action? And 25, what is their common nerve? All right, let's go over the answers. One, we have longus capitis. Two is longus coli. Three is anterior scalene. Four is flexion of the cervical spine. And they are all innervated by anterior rami. Next we have six is semispinalis. Seven is your rotatories. Eight is interspinalis. Nine is rotation of the spine. And 10 is posterior rami. 11, intertransverse, sorry. 12 is iliocostalis, a part of the erector spinae, but specifically iliocostalis. 13 is quadratus lumborum. When they contract unilaterally, they laterally flex the lumbar spine. All of these cross the lumbar spine, quadratus lumborum is only in the lumbar spine, and since they all do lateral flexion, their common action is lateral flexion of the lumbar spine. And 11 is innervated by the anterior and posterior rami. 16 is rotatories again. 17 is spinalis. 18 is multifidus. Their common action when contracted bilaterally is spine extension. And they are all innervated by posterior rami. Last but not least, 21 is iliocoxygeus. 22 is pubococcygeus. 23 is coxygeus. 24 is um, their common action, which is supports the pelvic viscera, and they are all innervated by the sacral plexus.
hope that was helpful.